Nature has immutable laws. Today, I'd like to talk about one of them. Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law states that if something can go wrong, then it will go wrong. But Murphy had a friend called O'Toole, who always thought that Murphy was an optimist. Our membership of the European Union is a classic case of O'Toole's variant, particularly something called gold plating, which works like this. Brussels now makes most of our laws, rules and regulations. Current total an incredible 200,000 and something and rising. But when those rules arrive here in London, the British government often interprets them in a totally different way to how they were originally intended when first drawn up in Brussels. This is called gold plating, and not only is it totally self-inflicted, but it costs us a fortune. For example, the Department of Trade and Industry's budget has increased by 44% in the last four years, mostly to create new layers of EU regulations which often have no parliamentary scrutiny. In effect, this army of pen pushers enforces rules which, for the most part, are damaging to British interests. A further problem is that our EU partners ignore Brussels directives at the drop of a hat, which makes the whole process about as much use as a chocolate poker. Now, the last time I looked, which admittedly was a while ago now, France had 544 cases outstanding against them, Italy 496, and Germany 440. In Britain, we implemented and gold-plated every single one of them. And now that Poland has joined the EU, its 40 million population, most of whom subsist at poverty level in agriculture, are unwilling to rush to implement EU regulations on the length of a cow tether or the dimensions of a potato. With enlargement of the EU, a further £37 billion pounds is now required from existing EU states just to pay for the 10 new entrants. Gordon Brown called this totally unacceptable. But the Lib Dems said, we can't have Europe on the cheap, we must pay up. And as things stand, they're dead right. Europe is not cheap and gold plating makes it even more costly. I prefer Oric Goldfinger's advice to 007. Mr Bond, the surest way to double your money is to fold it and put it back in your pocket. It strikes me we could do with someone like Goldfinger around here at the moment.